we have identified several roadblocks to progress. And some of these roadblocks include the natural reflex, the startle reflex, whereby tension, resistance is the first order of the day. And as mentioned so, earlier, it's also the teaching method. If we go too quickly into action without proper understanding, laying the understanding, the cables of understanding, practicing and drilling and rewiring your neural pathways so that calmness is, 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 the, is the way we operate. Calmness, movements are even and smooth and so Very on. central to exactly. Tai Chi, namely balance, equilibrium, evenness of movement, softness, yielding, gentleness, a kind of meditative approach. So these things are elaborated and these are the qualities we will bring into the sensitivity training, into the push hands training. Hi, good to talk to you again. Uh, in this short video, I'd like to talk about uh, Tai Chi energetics, sensing and applications. And I'd like to talk about four to five points that uh, make this workshop different. Number one is that I've made it comfortable for the ladies to come into the workshop. Now, why is that important? Well, because Tai Chi is about yin yang, the interplay of yin yang and the change of yin to yang, yang to yin and so on. But yes, it's very much also the yin aspect the feminine aspect, the softness aspect, and the yielding aspect, the allowing aspect. So with, with the ladies in the workshop, the men also follow suit. Number two, I've changed the curriculum and the style of teaching somewhat. I've got friends and I've got, uh, I meet students from other schools and so on. And some of these people, may have been practicing for three years, five years, seven years, or they've learned for several years and have, you know, over the time, now as 10, 20 years have passed, they're still interested in Tai Chi, but they have not gotten to the higher levels of Tai Chi, especially on applications, understanding energies, and so on and so forth. So they are still searching for internal power, vitality, the chi, they're checking on the alignment and their postures and so on. So I, in this change of teaching the curriculum, I've gone slower into a bit more hands holding so that the important steps are covered. So I feel that in the um, uh, old school of teaching, if you like, including what I was doing before, is we jump straight into the action. They jump straight into the action of, for example, push hands. And then we go into the actions of how to do this, how to do that. Or we are stuck with just, again, the forms of doing sensitivity training without really sensing. All right. So in my approach to this curriculum is a lot of understanding, uh, demonstration, understanding and drills and practice so that we understand about forces, about yielding to forces, giving to forces, receiving forces. Number three, we have identified several roadblocks to progress. And some of these roadblocks include the ego wanting to win all the time, not uh, having stillness and quietness and even humbleness in approach. The natural reflex, the natural reflex of, of uh, uh, it's, it's the startle reflex, whereby tension resistance is the first order of the day. So these are some of the roadblocks. And as mentioned earlier, it's also the teaching method. If we go too quickly into, into, into action without proper understanding, laying the understanding, the cables of understanding, practicing and drilling and rewiring your neural pathways so that calmness is, 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 the, is the way we operate calmness, movements are even and smooth and so on. Exactly how we do the Tai Chi form, we also practice in applications. And number four, we elaborate more on these qualities that are very central to Tai Chi, 
namely balance, equilibrium, evenness of movement, softness, yielding, gentleness, a kind of meditative approach. So these things are elaborated. And these are the qualities we will bring into the sensitivity training, into the push hands training. Lastly, number five about this training workshop and its importance is that we need a partner and that partner helps to reflect to you, helps to, to understand those qualities that we spoke about. That means to have evenness, to have that softness and the song, the degree of relaxation, uh, that alignment and that power that you want to check, you know, about the neck, suspending the head, the tailbone, the, 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 the feet on the ground. These can be finally or finally checked with a partner. Otherwise, they are just words that your Sifu has been trying to teach you to soften up, to relax, to project power or, or to have the, this alignment or that alignment. It just doesn't seem to go in. It's difficult to go in because it's just like another, uh, another training method, another form. But with the partner work in the workshop, you find that, oh yes, now I see why these things are important. So watch out for our next previews or coming workshops and we hope to see you then. Thanks for watching and leave your comments in the section below. If you like our channel, do subscribe.